Hi folks, um, thought I'd have a go at the winter scene now we're in, into spring. Uh, we'll see how we go on. You, it's difficult to uh, look at so many paintings online and paintings in hospitals and, and see some wonderful stuff. So um, the things that really attract me now are are the uh, beyond the fauves, like the abstract impressionists, uh, where so much can be said with so little. Uh, overworking sort of kills lots of paintings. We never know when to stop and we can always titivate and do a little bit more. But uh, I'm going to use a limited palette. The only change to it will be cobalt blue rather than ultramarine. A colour that I'm not that familiar with. My, my main blue is ultramarine. But uh, we'll have a go, see, see what happens. So my brushes are nice and clean, clean them in salt fever. Still coughing from the uh, effects of the the solvent, the brush cleaner solvent. Let's uh, have an x-ray for that, so beware, read the label. I didn't. Uh, okay, so let's use a bit of oil, a bit of cobalt, a bit of uh, red, and a bit of white, and see see what happens. Now I'm not worried about the oil running down the paper or the board, MDF. I'm working from lean to fat. It's not that it matters because I'm working uh, fast for a video. I'm not that bothered about uh, lean or paint fat over lean, which is the, if you're going to do oil paintings and they're going to last for, for a day or two to, to produce, then you need to observe the rules of oil painting. Paint thin and start thin and work to fat. And, uh, but when you're working out of Prima, it doesn't matter which way you go. Because it's all going to drive at the same sort of rate. Now that gives me possibilities to start with. The cobalt. Just covering the board at the moment. It's a little 10 by 10 by 8. So I've got a frame that size. Okay, that's all right. Um, now, uh, let's, plenty of oil, let's get some, I, I'm not going to use alizarin, I'm going to use blue and red. So, I think cobalt is more sympathetic to snow than the ultramarine, this is it's a colder blue I think. Uh, let's Whatever I put on, I'm going to change. Just want some slopes. Showing the shadows. All right, let's uh, probably the horizon's too high. So I'm going to make that horizon darker. Pants of oil. I really enjoy mucking about this this oil, this walnut oil, and a bit of alkyd resin in. David Dickinson sent me that, I'm very grateful for that. Uh, let's just bring that down a bit. Might even put a barn or something in, something on the roof. Now I'm I'm not working for any reference material. I'm sort of free from that. Let's, uh, let's get some nice cloudy stuff in. Or bright clouds. The cat red is very, very strong. Just mix it up with a bit of oil. 
It's more ready there. Just to get an idea of where we're, we're going with this. Put the madhouse forward. Try to make nice shapes with your clouds and bed blending. If you don't want to put any shadow under them. With my cloth. Got me tea. Here I am, happy with my oils. I might do some watercolours tomorrow. Give me just the rest of all this stuff. Although the oils, these aren't toxic. I don't think the paints in this stage are, are toxic. It's just breathing in petrocarbon or hydrocarbon solvents, which are not meant to be breathed in. And going through winter, it's hard not to have window or keep windows shut. But you have to because it's too cold. Uh, right, let's just get a little bit of a bit of thick on here. Change the brush. It's a nice neat cobalt on there because cobalt's quite dark. Blue. You can mix your blues. I, uh, cerulean is very good mixed with ultramarine. I, I tend to stay away from the Windsor blues. I should use more of it, but but it, Windsor blue does it, it's a very strong colour. All right, let's get some trees in there. Uh, we want darkish trees. No. So we go with cobalt. As I said, we're, we're not going for super realism here. We're going for, I wouldn't say foam, we're just going, just having some fun with it, see, see what happens. Go off the paper. Don't like that red, I think I'll just... Some of this. Counter change against the light of the sky. Okay, nice cold. Whoa. Okay, we can put in some some branches, trunks. Have a swig of tea while we look at that. Get some distance in there, I think. White. I've just put some different textures in. Doesn't have to mean anything, it's just a suggestion to give somebody else the opportunity to to fill in the details. Okay, let's just clean the brush. Let the white in there or the yellowy white. Reflecting the sky. We can put a few little trees on the, the top there. But they need to be dark. I'll just put in this blue. The red in there. The red and the blue make a good, good dark. Well, let's just uh, 
not sure that's working yet. But. Red's, red's really help composition, but overdoing them doesn't. I was just sort of. Alright, let's get some uh, oil on there. Just some distance there. I have in the sky. Sorry about the singing. Going down the hill and far away. It's just infinite, this painting, isn't it? snow reflects the sky and don't be too fussy with the snow the simpler the better slightly darker bits in with the shadow there Not sure where I'm going to fit in a barn or anything. Um, just get some lighter stuff on that horizon. I think. Oops. threatening. Okay, well that's coming on. Right, uh, now I'm not really sure where we're going to put in the uh, some trunks, but we will. So we'll have some white, off-white. 
bit of oil. Don't forget the oil. No rigor yet. We'll get some of the colour in there. God, it's lovely, Cajello. Cajello pale. But it's a... Uh, it's only a stewed quality. Right. Now I wonder if we can just put in some... Bit of snow slurred in on on there. Oh no, that's horrible, isn't it? So I'll be able to scrap that. I think I was probably using the wrong brush for the trunk, so let's, let's go over it again. And then start that again. Now this is yesterday's paint, so it's a, even though it's a, a, win, a, a Winton, it, uh, it still dries. Um, maybe I'll use my half inch little flat here. To get those the, the light trunks in, easier said than done. oil certainly loosens the paint up. I can't show you the uh, the mixing because it, it, the camera setup is not conducive to to that really. Right, let's, let's have re recourse to the uh, to the uh, rigor. Got the rigor stiff. Stiff with oil rather than anything else. I need to give them a good, good clean with soap. Oops. Mm. 
No, they're not bad. But it's not good either. Just put that dog back in there. I'm using to clean that needs to be just a little bit of bit in there It's really out in the Surrey Hills, uh, that's what I'll call it. Um, we need something to block over here so we can put in some ready orangey, bluey foliage. Just, just a block. Another brush, and we just we just put a bit of blue behind that. There's a bit of Bit of reflection there, that's what they're supposed to be. Not reflection, it's cast shadow. Alright, let's just get a bit more of that slur of uh, light now. Just in the foreground. A bit of thick. No, not. Orangey rather than I'm sort of trying. I haven't used any Griffin colours in this. there. Just picking up some of that light on there and some, whoops, some in there. Uh. Now the great Arthur Madison, have a look at him on Google, used to use, what well, uses a lot of uh, oranges and colours in, in his uh, landscapes and I, I love Arthur's work uh, and he used to do a lot of, um, well not pointillism but impressionist strokes but I think even he got fed up with doing them in the end and his strokes, his brush strokes over the years have got much broader because the point of vision, as lovely as it is, it takes so long. So even old Arthur gave up on it, I think. Have a look, there's a lot of stuff online. If you Google Arthur Madison, 
M-A-D-E-R-S-O-N. Wonderful artist. I can't really do much more than that. That is the drawback of not having any anything in mind. Just go for it and just make it up as you you go along. Which is what I've done with this one. Yeah, just some warms in the background there. I wouldn't mind doing a point of this painting, but they, as I say, you can't do them in five minutes. They take longer than YouTube would allow, probably. I'll just add these reds. Okay, well, I'm... Okay, well, snow on the side in the Surrey Hills, we call it, I think. Uh, I wonder if I should slurk a slur in some a big bit of sky or cloud with those creamy colours. Oh, dear. that's gone blue. Blue. But I won't be using this, this palette again. It's a, it's um. The paint spread out on on a piece of greaseproof paper. No, we lost the colour there. Eh? Into pink rather than. Bit of threatening dark in here, I think. Carry that through there. Soften it. I try to use the largest, largest brush possible for these things because. But it stops you from fiddling around too much. It's just too much, too much white in that. Someone was cutting their lawn earlier. Oh, he's keen. Put in a bit of, bit of light in there. Right, well, we could fiddle that to death, can we? Finish my tea, which is cold. Well, I'll put that in the in a frame, in the ten by eight frame. We'll have a look at it. There's quite a lot of oil on the top of this. Just uh, remove, just flatten it out a little bit. Mainly because it might run down the picture. I had a picture a couple of days ago which did that. I put so much oil on it, there were rivers running down. Okay, oh, there we are. A little picture. <coughs> Quite a simple, simple one in the end. Let's zoom out a little bit. There we are. There we go. So, we've got a little snow scene. So, so plenty of colour in the sky. I've only used the three colours. 
cobalt, uh, yellow, uh, here we are, bit of cobalt, cobalt yellow, cadmium yellow, cadmium red and white. So it's, a, it's, it's a, always a challenge but a good exercise is to see how far you can go with just three primaries. You choose the primaries and stick with them and look at the colour range. It looks as if there's bags of colour. Well, there isn't bags of colour in it, but you wouldn't have thought so. You wouldn't have thought there was just just three little dobs of paint plus white. You've got to have the white. Anyway, um, snow is, when in pictures, if you paint it all white, snow is white, of course, but it does pick up the colours in the sky and Cobalt being a cold blue gives the impression of, of cold snow. I hope it does anyway. So thanks for watching, folks. See you soon. Bye-bye.